Hey there Libras, this is your bonus message in love. I hope this helps in some way. Okay, so let's get into it. This is going to be for your next um, 72 hours in love. This is going to be for your sun, moon, and rising sign that is in Libra. If it doesn't resonate, you can definitely check out, okay, your other moon, sun, and rising signs or your Venus, okay? That usually can resonate a little more with love for you because your emotions, uh, the moon does represent your emotions more so okay um but yeah and if you do want more of a personal message just for your own energy definitely book me on my site that is tagged in the description box below okay but let's get right into it let's get to your warnings really quick okay and then we're gonna see what your person wants to say to you okay or um yeah and then we're gonna get some oracles i mean sorry but yes show me what we need to see for all of my um all my libras what is coming in for all of my libras okay Let's get three. I kind of want to shuffle this way. Show me three messages for Libra. What is going on this weekend for Libra? Thank you. What's going on for Libra? Oh, okay. So we do have a few coming out. So I'm going to take all of them anyways, okay? Overall energy is at the bottom of the deck. Show me what we need to see for Libra. Fire, okay? Strong emotion, passion, or hate, okay? So I do feel like you could be dealing with a fire sign, an air zoo, or Sagittarius, or I feel like maybe you could have that somewhere in your chart. But you're going to have a strong desire or passion or hate for something, okay? So I feel like definitely know that that's going to be ignited in your energy, just feeling very, very, very passionate, okay? You could have um, an Aries Leo or Sagittarius sign in your Venus, okay? In your planet of love. So definitely maybe check out your chart. Show me what else is here. We do have goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth, okay? A lot of orangey energy here. So definitely your sacral chakra, I feel like, is going to be illuminated, okay, this weekend libra i do feel like there's an increase within maybe your energy as a person and again maybe your again your passion for what you do for work what you're trying to do within just your life i feel like something about your energy is really um igniting right now show me what else is going on for all of my um libras this weekend we have ooh, okay so we do have Ugh, the fly all right a period of ill health or depression okay so i do feel like maybe you do need to pay attention to your health right now okay i do feel like maybe there's a sense of you needing to um I feel like making sure you're getting through your emotions well because I do feel like maybe you could sometimes I feel like you get depressed okay I do feel like maybe in a way you do get I kind of I feel like in over your emotions or just feeling very overly emotional and I feel like it gets it gets a lot okay so I do feel like you do need to I feel like weigh out your emotions very um sparingly right now okay i do feel like also just make sure you're really taking care of yourself taking your vitamins drinking your water getting proper exercise as much as you can okay eating your vegetables eating some fruit okay not always doing fruits and junky and, and and stuff like that okay a lot of this food will give you mucus mucus attaches to your throat and your walls and that's why you when after you eat a whole bunch of cheese you're coughing up phlegm and things like that because i do feel like there's a sense of you needing to balance out your body right now okay and I do feel like maybe the physical body I feel like the emotional body needs help with the physical body because it feels like when you're when you're sad or when you're mad or when you're angry I feel like there's something about your body that you really feel that really stresses you and you do need to be aware of that energy okay show me what else is going on here for Libra problems to be resolved okay so i do feel like maybe that's something that is going to be causing you i feel like a little depression is i feel like maybe a lot of the problems that you do have right now within your energy okay i do feel like you're feeling a little overwhelmed by some issues okay that you're having or some things that you need to complete okay but i feel like there is resolving that needs to be had but you do need to have a feel like maybe proactive thoughts about this show me what else is going on yes we do have affairs with your family so i do feel like with strong emotion passion love or hate maybe there's things that go regarding your family that you're going to be feeling very emotional about or i feel like very negative about positive or negative it doesn't matter but i feel like something about your emotions are feeling very ignited about this okay show me what else is going on here this weekend we have also heartache over what you no longer have so i do feel like also maybe you're taking a hit emotionally because of maybe the things that maybe you have lost that are helping increase the material wealth and the spiritual growth that you have in your life i feel like maybe you're having a reflection period right now that's causing you that depression and, and a period of feeling sad and down because of maybe the things that you have lost in your life 
all right okay i don't know if there's maybe a loss within your family okay and that might ignite a lot of emotions within the dynamic that's gonna cause a hit okay um but yeah i do feel like even though i feel like god doesn't take away something that he's not going to replace okay within your life so i do feel like that's something that you're trying to get past okay with affairs of family i feel like maybe also there's a, a certain relationship or a connection that you're having a lot of issues with within your family dynamic and i feel like you're waiting for those to be resolved but i feel like as for the time being okay because uh, i don't think things are going to resolve this weekend exactly tomorrow and then the next day but i do feel like over time things will be resolved but i do feel like um it's just going to kind of hurt right now because of trying to get past and get through it we also have keep your life in balance libra this is you all right keep that life in balance i do feel like it's very necessary for you to be you this month okay this week these next couple of days you be you because i feel like there's a sense of you having i feel like something about your your moon sign or your rising sign that is going to take control okay whether you're a, you're a sun libra okay something about you needing to balance out your energies the other energies that you do exude within your yourself again your sun moon and rising sign you need to balance those out so that you can feel very good about yourself okay overall energy that i have here for you is dissatisfaction with life okay so i do feel like you're feeling a bit unhappy or i feel like maybe you keep breaking glasses maybe you broke a mirror and you had seven days of seven years of bad luck i feel like that's how you're feeling and i feel like you're just remembering the times where things are positive or good and i just feel like something about you is just feeling hit okay with life split the deck we have rabbit too much concern with sexual matters so i do feel like also maybe you're using sex as a catapult to I feel like feel okay because I do feel again like that depression here your, your emotions are getting hit and you might be using sex as a catalyst to actually feeling okay with passionate love or hate I feel like that's something that you're going to be dealing with okay overall energy top of the deck coming in is a deep fr uh, friendship with someone of the same sex so I do feel like you could possibly be hanging out with friends okay right now you could be maybe making a relationship with someone that um is the same sex as you okay a guy friend a girlfriend doesn't matter but again warning you of a problem now or in the near future when i split that deck okay so i do feel like you should be aware of these energies coming in okay so that is a fair warning show me what we need to see now for your person okay what does your person feel for you all right show me what does libra's person feel for libra okay sun moon and rising signs show me what your person feels for you all of my libras i want to text you but i'm not going to okay why does this one person want to text libra but they're not going to broke okay so this person wants to text you hang out with you maybe talk about hanging out but they don't because they're they don't really have that much money right now okay maybe you don't have much money i don't know but i do feel like maybe someone does not want to reach out to the other person for sure show me what else is going on here we have this was fun while it lasted uh we also have mechanic car wash dealership and car repair so i do feel like maybe libra um someone feels like Someone wants to text you, but they're not going to. Someone feels like maybe you're maybe focused on money, focused on your car. Maybe someone's car, they're trying to figure out some things so they can't really hang out with you. Uh, maybe you're figuring out certain things with your car. I don't know, but someone feels like something was fun while it lasted within the dynamic, okay? I do feel like you could be a, a, car, a mechanic, a car wash or dealership, a car repair. But I do feel like maybe either someone has to deal with this and they don't have the money to fix it. So it's like, well, this was fun while it lasted, I mean. I guess we'll wait until we can see each other again or I also feel like someone this is someone's entity that we're tuned into and someone has to work and do their thing and someone's busy getting money okay working and I feel like someone wants to text them but they know that they're busy so they're not show me what else is going on this weekend for all of my Libras and their person show me we have love bombing okay so i feel like someone's going to want to love bomb you but we also do have he is not hubby in my eyes so i do feel like someone is going to be trying to love bomb you and make you feel um i feel like this person feels as if you want to love bomb them okay and and show them things but i feel like that stopped once you knew maybe how much money they made or maybe this person stopped do showing you a certain type of energy after they found out maybe how much money you make show me what else is going on for um all of my libras and their person Ooh. we also have 
you are wifey in my eyes oh okay so i do feel like maybe one person this could be a virgo as well that we're tuned into okay um could be a virgo sun moon or rising but i do feel like this person definitely wants to reach out to you but they're not they're really holding back okay i do feel like maybe you the masculine whoever works on maybe a car or is more so a masculine energy someone sees the feminine as wifey but the the feminine doesn't see the the masculine as um hubby or boyfriend material okay show me what else is here we do have social butterflies so this person could be very social they could really talk definitely a, a virgo possibly okay because virgo it does uh they are in that energy sometimes they're very um you know approachable welcoming um they really show that they're interested in maybe talking to you okay show me what else is here we have I'm not going to keep doing this. Yeah, so the only thing is, though, this person's not going to keep being inconsistent with you, Libra, okay? Maybe they're a strong earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo, but someone's not going to keep dealing with maybe something that isn't as solid or the foundation isn't very good okay we have this is the same conversation we always have right so i do feel like maybe someone's very busy all the time and i feel like someone's like well i'm not gonna text them because i'm tired of hearing the same shit all the time so again like i said um i feel like with this all this grain here i do feel like this is all this virgo or this other person's energy is that i feel like they have this conversation all the time about wanting to text you but they're not and even when they do text you i feel like it's the same thing like oh i'm busy or i'm working or and i feel like this person just wants to talk they want to have a conversation okay and i feel like the one thing about them is they if anything they they know that you're broken they love bomb you and try to make you feel good but it's like also it's like libra you're probably just like all right you're doing too much sometimes because i know i know you know that i'm broke okay? like and i feel like that's what yeah i feel like i care um i care more than you think yeah so sorry i spelled that wrong i was downloading so it says i care not than you think so i do feel like this is more so i i care more than you think so i do feel like this person does want you to know that they do care about you more than you think they do okay um show me what else yeah you've mastered your spiritual lesson with this person yeah so I do feel like something about them, they're seeing just the light and the truth about certain things. And I feel like they care more about you than you think that they do. Even when they know the truth about you, it makes them care even more. And I feel like um, something about maybe their energy fears that you think that they don't want you. But I feel like it's it's not that they don't want you. They just want someone that is available time-wise, emotional-wise, okay, all that. Money-wise, they just want to make um, someone available more so for them, okay? We have nail tech, lash tech, hair tech this person could maybe get that done they could keep their lashes or hair done and their nails done or i feel like this person could work in this field okay and i feel like they don't care because again you could like be like um a self-employed person and i feel like it's not that there's something wrong with what you do with work because i feel like this person does maybe just as that maybe they're self-employed as well and i feel like it's not that it hurts them i feel like they just want to maybe help you or give you love or show you maybe the way to help you i feel like get your business out there more okay we do have spiritual and spirituality so i do feel like something about this connection is helping increase you guys as just people walking and roaming this earth okay i do feel like again you've learned your spiritual lessons spirituality something is very spiritual about the connection and it's something that is it's like you're each other's mirror you guys are showing each other what you guys need to see about each other show me what else it's like you're showing that this person's very needy and always has something to say or i feel like this person's just very social like let me help you let me help you and I feel like something about them is like your wife in my eyes, but also I feel like this was fun while it lasted because I got to do some things for me. All right. I got to kind of focus on me. Show me what else is going on for all of my um, Libras and love. Show me. I'm willing to work with you. So yeah, this person is definitely wanting to talk to you, work with you. I do feel like there's a fear. Someone has a fear of an insecurity that they're not good enough, okay, for the other person. But I do feel like the other person's still okay with working with them. Right, can't move on. So again, I do feel like this person, this Virgo or whoever this is, they're very into you. And something about their heart chakra is set on you. Their, their heart is set on you. And I don't feel like they want anything else, but they do want to make sure you guys are increasing and not going backwards right my heart desires you i'm telling you i i feel like they don't care as much as you think they do for real i just feel like they 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 care more than you do think about you and what you do have to bring to the table all right um show me what else is this person feeling for all of my um libras let's confirm some more messages for all of my libras what does this person feel for a libra right now 
acceptance. They know that everything is happening for a reason, for sure. Let's confirm what else is this person feeling for the overall energy for a cap. Uh, this could be a Capricorn for Libras. I want to say uh, that. We have ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, inmate. Okay, so someone could be dealing with someone that does have an inmate uh, for an ex-boyfriend or an ex-girlfriend. I feel like also maybe someone has to go in, okay, in, into jail, okay? And I feel like someone is just happy that you guys have enjoyed one another, okay? Or that you guys are just doing that, okay? I feel like also someone's aware that things are just happening for the reasons that they are, okay? Let's confirm why did ex-boyfriend and inmate come out. What is this? I'm stalking your past exes, old jobs. Oh, so I do feel like something, <laughs> then we say exes, old jobs. So I do feel like someone's maybe looking at your past, okay, Libra, someone's just checking you out, really trying to get to know you without getting to know you physically, because it's like, well, if I can't talk to you, then I'm gonna go get my own information, okay? I feel like maybe they're talking to people, asking people about you, seeing if they know you. This person could be someone that is around town that lives near you, but I do feel like this person is definitely stalking, like, your ex-boyfriends or ex-girlfriends, your old, where you used to work, who you used to be friends with, who who's on your friends list, okay? I feel like someone's just really trying to get to know you without you telling them okay yeah we do have self-care clear your energy and so focus on yourself before acting so i do feel like that's just something that this person is doing this person knows that you have to be separate right now but while they're being separate they're keeping themselves busy okay yeah because i feel like they also have a fear that maybe the feelings aren't mutual why do they have a fear that the feelings aren't mutual spirit maybe this was a mistake yeah so i feel like also they're scared that they have to keep repeating themselves about maybe wanting time and energy with you okay maybe wanting certain things i feel like this person maybe left and then came back and then left and came back because i feel like oh maybe well things are different now but i do feel like maybe they they have a fear that this is not supposed to be okay let's see yeah we have tan skin so the, someone could have tan skin they could be spanish hispanic okay it doesn't matter cuban whatever it doesn't matter someone has a, a tan skin tone okay show me what else i can't put my words into actions yeah so i do feel like also again what they want to say they don't know how to approach you with it they can't show you so they just they just don't all right show me what else is going on okay show me what else is going on for all of my libras and their person we have regret. Someone is feeling regretful about how they have treated you, okay? So I do feel like maybe in a way, in the past, they've made you feel bad about certain things, like when you are busy, Libra, okay? And I feel like they're regretting making you feel like that because I feel like they're just seeing your situation for what it is after stalking you and watching you. I feel like someone wants to put their words into actions, but I feel like they're just not. I feel like they're just kind of holding back and waiting and watching for you to make those moves right they're trying to change for you i feel like this person's also very they they love to pounce they love to approach things very quickly and i feel like this person's changing that about themselves i feel like they're just working on themselves because again i feel like as um, as much as you're saying i can't right now i gotta do this i gotta do that they're like why why come on why but also they're now seeing why i feel like maybe looking and stalking you and seeing your life and seeing what you've been through and your tweets and your posts and your friends and people giving you recognition of some kind i just feel like they're seeing you in a different light okay we have i want to marry you one day oh wow so this person is really seeing i'm telling you this is very cute energy show me what else is going on for this person for all of my libras what is their truth Aquarius so this could be a Virgo or an Aquarius okay but this is definitely someone that's way this person's very understanding I feel because with Aquarius that's air energy okay so this person definitely knows how to communicate or I feel like just give you the benefit of the doubt or they know how to take the benefit of the doubt okay they do have they know how to have a little more duality with the truth okay they know what to do with the truth because I feel like that's one thing they, that they aspire to have is the truth and I feel like that's one thing that they're accepting. All right. Show me what else is going on here. Senior texts. Yeah. So I do feel like maybe you're texting this person or I feel like maybe they're maybe I don't know if they're leaving you unread or just making sure that you know that they saw it. I feel like they're maybe like having a little reaction on, on the on the post. Like, you know, how on iPhones that like you can like heart it or like it or, or thumbs down it. I feel like this person is just kind of reacting. OK, they're doing little small things to show you that they are around. OK, and seeing things from you. But also we do have I understand your situation, but I'm done. So again. With I don't want to text you, but I want to text you, but I'm not going to. We always have this conversation. This person is just a little salty, okay, about certain things, but they're going to just take things with a grain of salt. That's the thing. Overall energy for this closing out this reading. 
shacking up okay so this person you could live with lightly okay you could maybe um uh, you could like maybe see this person on the weekends like spend the weekend with them and again maybe you couldn't be spending the weekend with this person um I feel like there's but you again we have underwear we have socks we have a toothbrush I feel like something about you guys you guys are staying consistent with each other but not consistent enough to where you guys are just with just each other okay I feel like there's a fee I feel like I'm not saying that you guys are talking to other people I don't think there's there's no third party energy here but I do feel like someone wants to know that you are talking to just them while you guys while you are busy doing your thing or saying busy or saying you can't talk right now okay right I don't want him anymore yeah so that's the one thing I, I do feel like this person wants to to clarify that you don't want an ex or that you or that an ex doesn't want you okay clarify this message i want you to get your own life yeah <laughs> so like i said this person just wants you to kind of do you so you don't feel overwhelmed okay i do feel like something about this person does definitely care about you but i feel like they're taking themselves or they're just backing themselves out of the equation because I feel like they're feeling overwhelmed about how much they care about you. I feel like they're getting their own information just watching you. And I feel like they're just regretful about how harsh they might have been treating you. But also they're accepting things for being an adult. Because they know that if they want to they're, if they're wanna be an adult and they want love, then they have to act like that. Okay? Show me what energy is possibly coming in for all of my Libras. Union of two souls. Okay, we have patience and progress. So I do feel like there's a sense of you having patience and progress with what you guys can bring to the table. Okay, especially with the materialism. Again, materialism does represent the materialistic things. So pentacles energy, okay, the finances, the dates, okay, buying things, spending time with each other when it comes to using money, okay, split the deck financial matters. Like I said, you need to be patient with this person when it comes to them trying to get their finances because I feel like if you want a traditional relationship, you need Need to know that money does matter in relationships if people say that it doesn't it's because maybe you guys are in a childish dynamic okay and maybe things are just based off of sex or energy or love or words and not actions okay so you need money to be in a relationship okay show me what we need to see for all of my libras coming in for them and their person loss issues okay limitations so i do feel like a lot of maybe hits that this person has took in the past Libra or maybe you that's what's inhibiting the connection now I feel like certain things you have to put in front of the connection before you can put the connection before your the other issues right we do have end of a learning cycle and we also have special knowledge and skills so I do feel like what you guys have lost you guys are learning from okay losses and lessons that's what I'm hearing okay new level of growth is coming in though overall yes we do have limitations intuitive understanding so I do feel like also you're gonna start listening to your your intuition more because I do feel like maybe in the past that's all what has really hurt you was not listening to yourself not listening to what you know right I feel like you're renewing your own faith of anything because you are putting your foot down and and setting those limitations up that need to be limited okay if anything because I feel like maybe in the past you have given more than you have received and I think you're stopping that and I feel like even though it hurts this person that you're choosing yourself or that maybe that this person has to choose themselves I feel like it's still actually helping you guys both move forward. Top of the deck coming in, decision making. What else do we have? Soulmate. Amen. So I do feel like this person is someone that I feel like does desire having you as an end all be all energy. But again, major endings are bringing new beginnings for the both of you guys. Traditional relationship where when I split the deck, lasting love and happiness here as well. So let's see what spirit does have for the dynamic for you and your person for Libra reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life so this could have been a past soulmate energy that you were dealing with or are dealing with okay this could be an ex or i feel like this is someone that's just maybe back and forth back and forth but i do feel like this is a more familiar soul from your past life okay let's confirm this we have flirt extend extend your lighthearted energy to others so i do feel like it is necessary for you to still be open to i feel like a lot of people coming in towards you because why not all right i do feel like flirting and having a good energy will only if you're single though okay but i feel like you will be open to i feel like more energies that are coming in towards you because of i feel like taking i feel like the pressure off of even if someone gives you a simple compliment not being turned off by that like people should be able to compliment you without you feeling defensive okay and i feel like you're opening yourself up to a lot more people smiling saying hi i feel like you're just being more welcoming and i feel like it's due to this person that is making your heart kind of open more show me what else is here we have make the effort because great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to let's get one more 
release that ex the time has come to clear that energy so again like i said i feel like the both of you guys do need to release i feel like there's a lot of reconciliations happening as well a lot of exes wanting to come back and reconcile and i feel like you guys both do have to cut those cords off because i feel like yes this person's scared about exes and ex-boyfriends but only because maybe that's what's going on in their energy sometimes that can be character projection sometimes you could someone could be putting that energy onto you that they're dealing with okay but yes let's confirm one more overall what we need to know religious factors your um love life is influenced by your upbringing and spiritual path okay so you could be of a different religion you guys could be of a certain um caliber when it comes to money tax brackets okay um where you guys are at in life okay um your jobs what you guys are doing there's just a lot of factors that are making differences within the connection okay i don't think it's actually you guys i think it's just life okay but overall what does spirit have for this dynamic what does spirit have for libras a year from now okay so i do feel like spirit does want you to take your time with this dynamic okay i do feel like it take it to, again it takes a year at least to get to know someone so i do feel like taking your time with this dynamic will take well i feel like it'll catapult you nicely okay show me what else why is a year from now here uh oh why is a year from now here big happy changes so i do feel like if you do take your time with this person and and at least have a year's worth of growth it's not about waiting around for this person for a year but i do feel like letting things take its time i feel like you can't think that you're going to marry some i mean people be like oh the 90 day fiance and shit like that yeah you can do that okay but i feel like having someone after three months will really confuse you and really getting to know someone um and letting them be your best friend and a lover it will really have to help you okay i feel like maybe in the past you've rushed with love and i feel like taking your time with it will actually better suit you okay overall energy for what spirit has to say wait yeah spirit definitely wants you to take your time with this person be freaking patient okay don't think that you guys are going to get in a relationship tomorrow or next week it takes at least a year okay for someone to really close out their energies it takes someone six months to really finally um put their foot down in certain things so do be aware of that let's get one more message look for a sign within the next few months okay so i do feel like regarding this person spirit's going to be helping you showing you signs showing what you need to see anything that's being hidden it will be revealed okay but definitely be aware of things okay but just be patient and wait there's big happy changes coming in with this within this dynamic let's see what this person's emotionally feeling for you right now as you watch this for all of my libras wow wedding rings didn't we say i want to marry you one day all right um union wedding married a uh, soul connection eternal promise everlasting love so this person is definitely seeing you as wifey material this person is definitely seeing you as someone that they do desire to have in their future okay they want to live together they want i don't know if they want kids but they want to live together they want to be with you okay they want a ring on that finger okay we also have meeting um meeting and conversing more savoring the moment uh, feeling uplifted and we do have karmic relationships so they do know that there are a lot of resentment and lessons to learn here there's maybe some triggers some turmoil uh fleeting triggers some turmoil maybe even wanting to just let go and still love you but i do feel like this is a karmic situation yes but i do feel like also it's I feel like if you guys do what it takes to not have this to be karmic, you guys will be happy, okay? Let's get one more overall for what this person feels for Libra. I like you in addiction, okay? Someone likes you, romance is definitely blooming, fun flirting, wanting to date, but a, a bit codependent, uh, possessive, controlling, has a block or restraint. Definitely has like Virgo written all over it, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but let's see what your root advice is. Oh, we have a few. You, be, you are being shady, okay? Watch out. Shit could get ugly, Libra. Step away from the crazy-making diet for a hot second. Kale and spirulina taste like ass, okay? Eat some yummy shit, bacon, beer, chocolate, get some. Okay, so I do feel like maybe possibly if you are maybe eating out and doing your thing, maybe you need healthy diet if, you, if you've been doing that thing, go and enjoy yourself. I feel like it's, a, it's okay to have a cheat day, but definitely get back on it whenever you are supposed to, okay? And know that, know that you are the shit, okay? Do not forget it. For sure. And overall, you think that someone is lying, it's because that they are. So be aware of that. Be aware of the red flags that are trying to be shown to you. Be aware of maybe people that I feel like you you feel that you need the truth from and 
you'll I feel like you you're gonna know who's who's lying and who's not okay one wanted to pop out as well there's one more sitting there make better fucking choices okay if you're pissed at where you are then stop taking yourself there again be aware of certain things okay let's get what this person's next moves are for Libra and that was your reading Libra's person's next moves what is Libra's person all of my sun moon and rising signs in Libra show me what their person's next moves are towards them Libra, this is you. They're moving forward. Oh, they're moving forward. Strongly could be a cancer. Woo, tower moment. The chair. Oh, wow. This is all major arcana, you guys. The chariot, justice, the wheel of fortune, and the tower. You are finally choosing to move forward, okay? I think this person is. This person sees you as a long-term investment, and they're making the necessary changes to, I feel like, work with you, to have you, okay? To be with you, all right? With the star here, another fucking major arcana. This is crazy. We have the Empress here, another major arcana. You've met your soulmate. I'm not gonna lie. As I say that, soulmate, I mean, I'm not lying. You've met your soulmate. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's get one more. Yes, you've met your soulmate. And I do feel like the time is now to express yourself, to move forward. And I do feel like make sure that you tell people how you feel, that you guys mutually tell each other how you guys feel. Because I do feel like this person, they want you. They want you. They want you. And even though, yes, you're given this offer, they're gonna take it and they're gonna move forward with it, okay? Ace of Cups. They want you, okay? They want you. They're not going to reject anything. They're rejecting new lovers. They're rejecting people. I feel like they're rejecting other people as well because I do feel like they know that they need to work on self to transform with you. This could be a Scorpio, okay? Or a um, Aquarius or a Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo or a um, Taurus Leo, possibly. Um, I also have um, Aquarius or Scorpio again. But yeah, this person definitely wants to really come together with you. They really do. Okay, they're hiding the fact that they they want something. They they really want long term energy with you. That's all I'm saying. Woo! All right, let's see what spirit has for this dynamic for one word, and that was for you. We have courage and balance. I feel like you need to have courage to be able to keep balance within the dynamic. Okay, speak your truth. Have courage to be real. All right, and I feel like also do what you need to do to keep that balance. Okay, keep yourself in the energy that you desire to be in libra okay because i feel like it's coming for you with justice card here balancing act okay the scales i feel like it's a need for you to stay courageous and brave within the dynamic okay strong leo energy but that was for you i hope that helps in some way i'll be back with another message very soon stay safe stay happy guys love ya see you later